I'd have to say my favorite part of the exhibit is, is really the, the underlying vulnerability that these artists have. They've, they've really made themselves vulnerable in order to get this topic out there. And I think that in order to create um, this change and, and these opportunities for these conversations to develop, that we have to make ourselves vulnerable. The show on exhibit here at the Lake Region Arts Council is Mindful, and the topic of it is how mental health can um, be supported by art and expressed through art. It's been a combined effort between Springboard for the Arts, the Cadets Gallery here in Fergus Falls, and Lake Region Arts Council. Um, the Society for Contemporary Craft is actually the organization, the nonprofit that has um, developed and put together this exhibit. Springboard for the Arts was honored to actually be uh, contacted by Janet McCall from Society for Contemporary Craft and we were interested in how she wanted to have this exhibition, which is a nationally touring exhibition, come to our rural community and to talk about the stigma behind mental health and how artists actually use art to talk about mental illness and actually having a caring community that has compassion and understanding for mental health issues was something that Janet said that she felt would be a great resource for the exhibition to tour here and also to benefit our real community of having contemporary artwork come here from nationally showing artists. I think this exhibit is, is more meaningful um, than a lot of the exhibits that we have because, because it does touch on that topic that, that is, it is very hidden. It, it touches at this core social issue that, that almost everybody has either seen or experienced. I'd say the defining characteristic of this exhibit is how it gives a way to talk about a very difficult subject. We've noticed the people that attend the exhibit, that come in to see these works of art, have a personal connection to mental health. Either they work in the field or they have mental health issues for themselves or family members. And it's a way to start a conversation about a very difficult subject. Um, they're very grateful and very interested in this particular exhibit. My favorite piece in the exhibit is the um, sculpture of the little girl balancing on the tricycle reaching for the keys. That's uh, Rose Clancy's work and I think it's my favorite um, because I heard Rose talk about what that piece meant to her and her dealing with her mother's mental illness. I get this question asked a lot about, Naomi, what is your favorite piece of artwork in the exhibition? And to be quite honest, every art piece in this exhibition has touched me in a certain way. It's not that I have a favorite piece of artwork, it's every piece of artwork. I've taken the time to understand where the artist has been coming from, the, the story behind it. And so each piece actually has a special place in my heart. I think there are a couple of key points that people could take away from viewing this exhibition is looking at the artwork, reading the artist statements, 
and understanding how you can actually create work in mixed media, that it just doesn't have to be through a sculpture or through a video. Um, it can also be through writing as well. And we're getting audiences into the gallery space who typically don't go to exhibitions or gallery spaces to look at artwork, where they have been coming in wanting to hear these stories and to see these physical objects that have been created that have the story behind them is really important for them to see the work and to hear the story. I hope to see just lives impacted, connections made. I think the in, a, in, a, in an exhibit like this, um, it is it just provides such an opportunity for um, people to to connect, for their stories to be told, for people to listen. Sometimes our exhibits are about pretty art. It's pleasant to come in and look at a well done oil painting or pottery that has pretty glazes on it. This is not a pretty art exhibit. It is a, an exhibit about a difficult subject and some of it is uncomfortable to look at. It pokes you, it prods you to do difficult soul searching about a particular subject but it's worth it. It's very worth it. This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel Julien in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. Live wide open a regional movement that encourages people to make a great life for themselves in West Central Minnesota. More at livewideopen.com. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com.